In this video, I'll find the electric potential difference between a bird's feet when it's sitting on a metal wire. So here I've drawn a bird sitting on a copper wire. I drew the dimension in here 0 0.06 meters. That's the distance between the bird's feet. And then the rest of the things I put over here into a known column. So the current flowing through this wire is 32 amps. The cross-sectional area of this wire is 1.3 times 10 to the minus 5 square meters. It said 0 0.13 square centimeters, so I had to divide that by 100 twice to go from centimeters to meters squared. The resistivity of copper is 1.68 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms per meter. And the thing I'm looking for is the difference in the voltage, the change in electric potential from one side of the bird to the other. All right. So what I want is that delta V. I'm going to need to use Ohm's law. V equals IR. In some of these equations, delta V and V are kind of the same thing, because V always refers back to some reference point. Your delta V, like if you start and say you can define your zero voltage here, well then the V here is the delta V. So delta V and V are often interchangeable here, unfortunately. So the current times the resistance. Current we're given, we need the resistance, and we know R is rho L over A. So here, change in voltage is... 32 amps times rho, 1.68 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters times L. L in this case is the distance between the bird's feet because this is really the section that we're interested in. So that length, 0 0.06 meters over, now the cross-sectional area, 1.3 times 10 to the minus 5 meters squared. So units, meters squared, cancel those. Now I have amps times ohms. Amps are here, ohms are here. It's going to give us voltage. We get 2.48 times 10 to the minus 3 volts. So it's actually a very small voltage between the bird's feet. That's why they can sit on the wire without being injured.